Hey guys, it's HyperSugar, and this is Goldbach's Conjecture, and this is the only LOE guide you'll ever need. Are you also tired of getting no ganks while playing top lane? Because according to your jungler, top lane is an island and I should go gank the bottom lane and the mid lane instead to get them ahead because top lane is so far away from all the other objectives on the map that they're totally useless. While the enemy jungler keeps on ganking those Rivens and Yasuos and makes you eventually lose the game because they are so far ahead that you can't deal with them anymore. Well then put those tears away because I present you Eleo. Eloa, Ilio, Aloi, Elio, Il, 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 Ilio, Il, Il, Il. Now, why Ilawi, you might ask? Well, because since top lane is an island, there is water around an island. And what is in the water, there's fish and also octopus. And what does an octopus have? Tentacles, just like Ilawi. Before you learn how to play this champion that's possibly more annoying than YouTube reaction videos, let's take a look at her abilities. Passive. Ilawi and the vessel she creates spawn tentacles on nearby impassable terrain. The tentacles will swing at spirits, vessels and victims of Ilawi's harsh lesson. These tentacles deal physical damage to enemies hit and will heal Ilawi if they damage a champion. Q. Tentacle Slam Ilawi summons a tentacle from her idol and smashes it down in a straight line. It's basically her passive but then as a skill shot. W. Harsh Lesson Ilawi dunks her target, damaging it with her idol, basically bashing the skull in with that heavy shit she's carrying around the whole time and then also ordering all nearby tentacles to slap onto the target she just dunked. Yeah, that's... it's gonna hurt. E. Test of Spirit. Now, in my opinion, Riot should rename this ability to If you get hit by this skill shot, you're screwed. Because when you get hit by this, you have two options. If you get hit by this and you stay close to her, you can fight her, but she will probably ult you and you'll probably die. Or you run away from her and then you'll have to play the I have to dodge all the tentacles now minigame. R. Leap of Fate. Illoi dunks an area, summoning a tentacle for every champion and spirit hit, transforming the battlefield to look like that one fight from Pirates of the Caribbean where the ten- Man, this guy is crazy, am I right? Oh, also, her tentacles are invulnerable and they slap 50% faster and her W is only on a 2 second cooldown. Ilawi's laning phase can be described by the enemy laner's reaction. From levels 1 to 5, it will pretty much look something like this. What the fuck was that? <laughs> but when she gets level 6, it will be more like this. What? What the fuck? Pre-level 6, you want to sustain through the lane, playing safely and farming up with Q. Ilawi is also very vulnerable to early ganks, so you have to be careful. Wait. Ilawi is also very vulnerable to early good ganks. When you get level 6, Illoi becomes a very strong 1v1 and 2v1 champion, being able to put a huge amount of pressure on the top lane. Now at this point you might be wondering, what keystone should I pick on Illoi? Well I suggest you pick Bond of Stone or Courage of the Colossus, because they are both really <laughs> Just take a Grasp, Deadfire Touch or Storm Raiders depending on your playstyle and the matchup and don't even think about using the others. Well, yeah you can of course, but I highly recommend these three. Ilawi was released on November 24th, 2015, the exact date in 1974 where Donald Johnson and Tom Gray discovered a 40% complete skeleton Lucy. This explains why Ilawi states that broken bones teach better lessons. I'm not big on sermons. Broken bones teach better lessons. But what about the items, you might ask? Well, Ilawi works with a lot of items. Here are just a few of them. Yes, this includes Diamond Armor from Minecraft and Gorhal from World of Warcraft. Now basically you want to build Ilawi depending on your playstyle and on what you are playing against and not go for the same build every game, as you should be doing with every champion. I personally prefer the AD-ish builds with Ilawi that looks like this and I have great success with it, so just try it out. Right now it is time to fire up that fryer and prepare the calamari because it's time for teamfighting being an annoying split pusher and dirty tricks. 
Tip number one. You cannot be disabled during your ult animation. So you can dodge displacement spells like Yasuo's Q, Malphite's ult or Vayne's Condemn. Tip number two. You can use Ilawi's ult combined with flash to reposition your ultimate animation. This means you can ult at one place and then flash and then land at another place. This is very effective to surprise your enemy or to bait an enemy in. Bonus points if you can do it from out of vision. The following clip displays these two tricks perfectly as I smash two of the most loved champions back to spawn where they belong. So we have generic Riven player and Fat Vayne trying to stop my rampage on the top lane, coming at me with two people. So I'm intentionally standing next to the wall to make Vayne think she can condemn me so they think they can lock me down and CC me until I die. Which would be the case if I didn't have ult and flash up to reposition my ultimate while also dodging Vayne's condemn, one-shotting them, sending them back to spawn and then continuing my rampage on the top lane. After the laning phase you can be an annoying split pusher that needs to be stopped by more than one person. Of course, then your team can take objectives at the other side of the map. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck was that? <laughs> but you can also stay with your team and be this big annoying champion that is taking a lot of damage, heals the damage and does a ton of damage in return. She's basically a sponge with shotguns, soaking up damage and dealing out damage and almost never dying. Unless the enemy team can catch you really easily, then no, then you're gonna be useless. Fuck you, Jenna. When ahead, Illowee becomes this unstoppable force, really annoying, that will just one-shot your backlines, will fuck up your Baron calls, will keep on spit pushing and just kill everyone that comes nearby. Right here you can see the enemy team is trying to deal with a fat Illowee, trying to push her back, but eventually she'll just keep on going and will kill everybody and... and yeah, then finish the game by yourself. There we go, now you know everything you need to know to crush the enemy team with the Tentacle Queen. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this video and who you want to see next. Also consider leaving a like, it would really help and maybe subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.